Hi, welcome to AC3D CAD. Today, we are going to draw a stool based on this model. And these are the components that we have to assemble. On your left is a 2D representation of each part of the stool with its dimensions. First, minimize this one. Go to application menu, hover new, click drawing, select ACAD 3D for Imperial Units, open, select Parallel, but first make sure you are working on a 3D environment or 3D workspace by clicking this small arrow and select 3D, this one here. Or another option is go up here and select 3D modeling. In this drawing, we'll start uh, by drawing the front view. So click front here. But we have to make sure we are parallel on or parallel to XY plane. In order to do that, go to coordinates panel, click this little arrow, select the biggest rectangle, turn off the grid, start with line from your ribbon, enter 36 units. Right click, repeat line, tab, and enter 84 degrees, L for line again, right click to repeat line and draw across O for offset and enter 6 units TR for trim right click and right click again to select all and select the segments you want to trim Delete. L for line again. Go up for three units. Right click to repeat line. 3.5 to your right. Bring down the crosshair for six units and three units again across. Repeat. And 3.5 again. 3.5. Uh, let's just mirror this one. Type MI for mirror. And select the midpoint for the mirror line and bring your crosshair down. Select no. L for line. L for line again. But this time, just hover until you hit the midpoint, but don't click and bring down your crosshair for six units. Go across, EX to extend, right click, right click again to accept all, click the object you want to extend, TR for trim. 
right click and right click again to accept and trim these ones now copy this portion and rotate I'm just gonna move this and maybe make it in line here by tracking copy this select midpoint and select midpoint by um, clicking or press your shift key and then select mid between two points so click that one click that one I'm just gonna delete that delete AX to extend right click right click again extend that extend that and uh, L for line again go across and track by moving your crosshair up enter and do the same on the other side go down track all right okay next is uh, type join or J just J is good and then join all the segments sometimes it's not gonna work so join again you see there you go and do the same on the other side J for join let's do it twice J again now it works now go to southwest isometric go to I this uh, globe icon to bring your UCS back to its original state now the Z is upward and create is uh, create circle for just a sec okay C for circle click anywhere and enter 14.67 extrude everything for 3 units right click to repeat extrude three units again right click to repeat extrude and three units I'm gonna select from the visual style um, x-ray and I'm gonna rotate this one for click this uh, horizontal circle I mean horizontal direction for 90 degrees move to assemble so it's gonna click that corner and attach it no this is wrong move um, click this corner 
attach it here okay let's check it looks good Okay, and then we will create across this one here by tracing so that we can create a hole here so uh, select polyline and click the corners so just trace trace corners I'm just gonna move that so that we can see the cross and here's our cross so right click and move and select the shift right click again and select geometric center and attach it there now create a hole this one here by selecting press pull command from the ribbon highlight that and just bring it down now we have to attach this one select that as your base point and select this corner as your destination point erase that Let's check. Uh, maybe shaded with edges. So we have our stool. But I don't want um, this one showing. So I'm going to make this uh, area or this um, shape um, thicker. So what I'm going to do is um, do a circle again. Select center, shift right click and select center. It's not working. Okay, circle. Select. Can't see it because of the yellow. And uh, click the quadrant. I'm just going to hide that. So highlight the object, right click, go to isolate and hide object. So I'm just going to extrude that for another 2 inches. And then go to isolate again and end object isolation to show the hidden objects. So there you go. So what I'm going to do is combine these two by using uh, union command. So go to solid, select union, click that and this one. I'm going to check with x-ray there you go so it fits perfectly well I'm going to go to realistic and uh, go to solid go to fillet edge select radius from your uh, command window and uh, enter maybe 0.5 for radius and select edges look smooth right click again to repeat uh, fillet edge 
and select edges Click again. looks good okay type in material in a uh, let's look uh, I have something selected maybe I'm just gonna in a materials minimize that one i'm gonna use oh the same thing i have erased it anyway uh maybe um this one here I think we're good so I'm just gonna copy and I'm gonna uh, explode this one there you go I think we're done thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe see you again bye